Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody is pleased. Had a shot! That's a throw. Goretzka. Gets on the end of it. Gomez knocks it away. And now the breakaway. Beckham. Rudiger sticks in a foot to win it back. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Goretzka. Werner. Foot in. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Goretzka. Werner. Vieira gets it back. A real chance to break. Goretzka drives it forward. And he's cut it out. Goretzka needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. And it's Beckham. Beckham! Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Mateus. Oh, some clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. How does that work? Well, I think it's an attempt to just confuse this defence with, with constant interchange and, and different movement. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Van Dijk tries to get it forward quickly. Beckham. Kane. Greenwood. A chop! Has a pop! Goal! England! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. England take the lead, 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. So he sit forward, and now they can launch a counter. Maldini positions himself well and cuts it out. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. He's had a look, he's had a go! Good try, and that come good, so easily have been different. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. And they've been caught out here. The play, and it is a goal kick. Sure. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. could fall anywhere. Gomez just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. Werner, 
very well to intervene. Yeah. Dashing forward at pace. Greenwood. Schuller does well to read it and intercepts. And he's there to cut it out. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. That's offside. Yes, it is. Werner. Gomez. Cuts it out. Greenwood. Greenwood unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Werner. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. It still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. England head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Defenders on the back foot. Schuller gets into the right position to intercept. Greenwood plays it in. And here's Beckham. Vieira. Werner. Juan Bissaka was not to be moved. Greenwood, Kane, it's Kane! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's Muller. He's got through. That intervention was very necessary. One Bissaka. And it's played forward. It's Rashford. Germany have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. That's a promising ball. Rashford showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Muller, chance to break.
Sane battles to win it back. Sane tries to dink it in. Away from immediate danger. Good ball, it's found its target. And the ball's come out. Can't get the better of his opposite number. It's a fabulous position. Got offside that time. Sane. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And it's Sane. And the counter is on. Sane. It's gone a long way up and away. Out to the left it goes. Shaw. Okay, good ball. It's on a plate. Has a hit. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. England really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to trying to move the ball around the midfield. They, they lack the sharpness and urgency. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Beckham with the opportunity to showcase his dead ball craft. Maltini. Chan. And here's Sane. Timely intervention. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. He's played him through. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Time. And that's that. England winners by the odd goal. Really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. What are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent.